welcome to a Mother's Day edition of Heels Kitchen. So that means I am baking with my mom. Hi, this is my mom, Peggy. I'll call you mom. Okay, good to be with you. <laughs> we thought it would be fun, first of all, to wear our awesome Rolling Stones t-shirts mm. that we got together at a concert last year because, I mean, they're kind of whales. Secondly, <laughs> to make one of my favorite recipes growing up and a recipe that you still, I mean, not only made for all your kids, but mm -hmm. you make for all your grandkids now. All six of them. Soon to be Love seven. Love banana bread. Soon to be seven. Soon to be seven grandkids. All right, mm -hmm. so let's get started with the best banana bread recipe ever, and I'm pretty sure this is how I got my husband to marry me. <laughs> You're gonna put in a stick of softened butter, and it's really important in this recipe that everything is kind of come to room temperature. Cup of sugar, and we're gonna get that little bad boy spinning around. This is called creaming the butter and the sugar, and you want them to be really incorporated together before you add any other ingredients. Room temperature eggs. I do it in one of these just so. Why? So if you lose any shells, you can get them out. That's right, my mom taught me that. Mm -hmm. You don't want shells in your banana bread. Mm -mm. Do you remember the first time you ever made this or where you got the recipe? I do, I got it from my mother. Oh, Who really? got it from her friend. And we don't share it with oh. just anybody. Yeah, so don't tell. So, shh. <laughs> All right, one at a time, eggs going in. You just want to make sure they get really incorporated. We're going to let that get happy, you guys, and we're going to start working on the dry ingredients. We grab that bowl for me, Mom. Mm -hmm. Here's where we disagree a little bit. A little bit. Mm. Two cups of flour. And if you are Mom, it's all-purpose flour. Mm -hmm. If you are Tracy, it's all-purpose flour for one and whole wheat flour for the other, just because <laughs> I sneak in healthy stuff any chance I can get. You weren't up for that today, though, were you? No, no. You were like, no. no. We're not doing whole grain no. in this house. No whole grain. Plus, the grandkids don't like it. They don't like it, so <laughs> I give them whatever they want. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, a teaspoon of baking soda going in and just a pinch of salt. This is still spinning on the side. You're so good at that, but you're spilling. Am I? Yeah. Mm -mm. Mom knowing. Don't spill. Am I still, mm -hmm. still spilling? Block it. I'm blocking. I'm blocking. <laughs> Jeez. Give me a little spill guard over there. Yeah. This just makes sure your flour is nice and light when you put it in. All right, when we mix dry ingredients with this banana bread, we want to add a fl the flour just a little bit at a time to not just dump it all in there at once. So you're gonna mix these together until they're just incorporated. It's really important with baking that you don't over mix things. Anytime there's a dough, it's so easy to make it gluey. Same thing with cookies. When you're mixing your dry ingredients, your wet ingredients, just until it's all incorporated. Exactly. All right, um, one other thing that we add, and it depends on who is eating the banana bread, but toasted <laughs> walnuts, I think it's are so good in this banana bread. I love it that way the best. Yeah. However. No? Well, there are different ways. We've got yeah. six grandkids. So you can put in mini, only mini, chocolate chips. That'd be good. That'd and be that's really good. good. Um, when you are adding walnuts to anything, I always, always toast walnuts first. I think I've said that before too. Mm. Toast your nuts. Just dump those bad boys right in there. I just toasted these walnuts, you guys, at like 350 until you can smell them because that's, I don't even set a timer. It's pretty much when I smell them because then it's like, oh God, I'm going to burn the walnuts and I don't, so. That's the, that's the trick with roasting walnuts. This is a half a cup of sour cream. Did you think it was so weird when you made this for the first time that you were putting sour cream in bread? I did because I had another recipe I'd used prior to that and that was good, but after I made this one, this is the one I kept. This is the one? Mm -hmm. it's, it's like so decadent and creamy. Yeah, All right, great. we're doing half a teaspoon of really good vanilla. In we go, here comes the fun part. See these nice, pretty yellow bananas I have sitting right here? Mm. These are not the ones you use. <laughs> Decoration only. Right? This is just staging. You want the gnarly, dark bananas that have been sitting there that are like two <laughs> seconds away from a fruit fly? Two seconds away from the garbage, that I always true? say. That's what yeah. you want for banana bread. Two to three bananas. If you have one of these, I just shove them right in. Do you do this yeah. too? Yep. Because it breaks them up inside. If you're using a hand mixer, I would suggest that you mash them. Using just a uh, fork. It's more fun to throw. Bam, yeah. Right. Bam! Cool. <laughs> I can't remember who does that. I made a really big mess, though. Yeah. All did. right, you guys. Again, just until it's incorporated and you smash those bananas up pretty nicely. 
And we are ready to put this in the oven, 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on your oven. Just make sure you really watch it. I like to use these little bread pans with individual little breads. It's so cute. They're so cute, and the kids think it's fun that they can eat a whole loaf of banana bread. <laughs> you can also <laughs> use like little muffin tins if you have them, like the real size muffins, or one big loaf pan to just adjust mm -hmm. your time, not necessarily your temperature. Timer's up, time to pull the banana bread out. And it smells so good. I love how cute these are, all the little mini loaves. Mm -hmm. Here it is, you guys, nice and warm from the oven, the banana bread recipe that came from my grandma, to my mom, to me, now to you. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Happy cooking, everybody. Mwah! Hey, uh, you can find this recipe and more, kygo.com. See you on the next Heels Kitchen.